This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. plug-in a couple of days ago maybe two or three days ago and I was um, sort of muddling around on github wondering if I was gonna get a virus again um, since then Leon Todd uploaded a video and since then I found on a forum as well that uh, they've actually created this website for the neural amp modeler why this is exciting I think is because what has happened is that neural DSP after Kemper brought out this kind of capturing technology and that the price for this was 1600 ish pounds right and over the time we waited a few years until tonex came along and this was the first time that capture technology was also available and so you could run your captures in plugin and in hardware that's an important thing um, and this was priced much more reasonably um, what's happened since is that now you can get this technology uh, as good as apparently for free and what that potentially means is that the barrier for entry into this market could be far smaller and uh, you could get some people creating some really good captures and stuff so I think that's fairly exciting I don't know what's the opinion of folks like Kemper and your DSP and uh, Amplitude might be of this kind of tech um, at the moment I think they're probably not too worried about it because it's not that slick at the moment um but that's not to say that at some point it might not be it seems to me that the actual technology and the tones are as good as anything else um so that's cool uh, one thing to note i think the more that i play with these other captures and stuff the more i recognize that the kemper was actually doing something more than capturing you know it was a blend of both profiling and modeling because if you go in there you can change clarity definition tube shape all of that sort of stuff there it is more clear than ever before now that these weren't just basic um kind of you know flat captures or profiles there was a lot more you could do with the kemper with the tonex the quad cortex and this neural amp modeler it's clear that like you just have a basic tone stack maybe a gate these sorts of things um however you know i think the, the more modern stuff potentially gets a little bit more accurate tones at the moment there's a small amount of stuff on the website to check out a lot of it seems to be kind of heavy focused um, but I think there's a, a, a ton of potential here um, probably and uh, I've not tried to create a model um, I'm going to be very much uh, I guess a slow adopter of this I'm happy to give it a try and I think it sounds pretty decent I was using the Fender Pro Reverb or is it Fender Pro Junior whatever it's called Fender Pro Junior uh, for the cleans and then the Mesa Boogie Mark III for the leads. I think that there's a Mesa Barber Trinity in there as well, which I, I may have mixed in. Um, sounds really good. I'm using it with the Miko Cab Loader and also Valhalla Supermassive. Um, Valhalla Supermassive is free and the Miko Cab Loader, there's a free version of that. So you can basically get uh, really, really great tones for free these days and i think that's important and yeah i don't it'd be interesting to see what happens here 
What I noticed with the quad cortex capture side of things is because there's no way really to monetize it at the moment, your kind of key players that would normally be, you know, selling stuff for these units, whatever you think about that, are not really taking part in a huge way. And I think that has kind of held the neural DSP cloud back. And I wonder if we're going to have the same sort of situation here where without the, the push of marketing and without people sort of uh, really pushing this thing and being paid to create videos for it, whether that sort of slows it down. But I think the pace of change has picked up a bit. You've got people like Leon doing videos um, and I've seen it popping up all over the place. And, you know, now that it's popping up on forums and stuff, I think maybe that's going to attract some attention. I do wonder if someone, uh, one of the gear companies might end up giving Stephen Atkinson a bunch of money. It seems like the guy's pretty talented. He's clearly stumbled upon something really decent here or, you know, stumbled upon is probably a really a very fair way of saying what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? He's stumbled. He's done some great work here. I think it might attract some attention, to be honest. And maybe you'd see this sort of technology used in a piece of hardware somewhere. I wonder if there's a, a chunk of money coming his way. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have you tried it? Um, and yeah, I, I, there's nothing really not to like about it, except for at the moment, uh, it's a little bit um, wild westy, right? It's a little bit difficult to actually download the stuff. You have to get onto GitHub, um, which is essentially for people who know what they're doing, not knobheads like me. Um, and then, at the moment, now you've got that hive where you can get the models, and I think that's quite cool. The descriptions of them are gonna vary. Some of them are gonna be made with cabs, some without. So I think there's some improvement that could be done to clarify what is actually in each of these um, things, but I'm sure that will develop over time. We've seen with the, the Quad Cortex and Kemper, these things developed over time. Um, so yeah, I don't know. This could potentially, I think, change a whole bunch of things, or it could kind of fizzle out to nothing or it could just, I don't know, be a thing that people that know about it end up using. Like, I can see no reason why you wouldn't use this in a project. To me, it sounds as good as anything else. So that's a win for guitarists, isn't it? Probably. Okay, so it feels like relatively recently I was talking about Tonex and how this had changed the game slightly. Um, and now I think it's fair to say that this new thing could potentially, depending on how things go, change things even further. You've probably heard about this. Now, the Neural Amp Modeler is made by a chap called Stephen Atkinson. I tried to make this video a few days ago. Um, things have already moved on from there. So there's now a website and you don't necessarily have to be a coder to, to work out how these things work. So when I tried it last time, um, things are hosted on like GitHub, which is a thing for open source programming, as far as I know. Um, there's now a website, which looks like this, where you can actually download some of the tones. Uh, so things that are moving at a fair rate. So this neural lamp modeler, tone hive. I think that the key thing is that this stuff is free and it's going to be community based unless someone buys it and starts incorporating it. So the way that I'm using it here, I've got the neural amp modeler here where you kind of load in your, your tones or captures or whatever they call them. And after that, I've actually got the Miko Sound Lab here because um, yeah, most of these you use an IR with them. Uh, so I'm using the Miko Sound Lab here and then the Valhalla Supermassive. And I thought this sounded pretty good for uh, built in and then the normal kind of tone things that you see on Tonex or Kemper or Quad Cortex that aren't strictly related to what the actual amp tone would be. Thank you. 
there seems to be a little bit of a, a preponderance of heavy tones at the moment. This is a Silver Jubilee. Barber Trinity. Very cool. Which bit you need to run? M1. Sounds to me like that's already got a cab built in, so for that I would just deactivate this. Pro Junior, so let's try this AMP. Doesn't sound like that's got a cab on it. Um, of course, you've got a tone stack. Yeah. I mean, that's sounding pretty cool to me. I'm going to just save that effects chain as well. How do I do that? Go in here, save effects chain, save effects chain, and now I'm clean. So it's still in its early kind of iteration. <laughs> It seems like